Hey everybody, welcome. I I'm, I'm still getting used to it too. Hi everybody, welcome back to Day of the Diver 1.0 edition. Finally out of early access, we're gonna start a brand new game here, live on twitch.tv slash bear type. Let's do it. Overriding our existing data, starting from the very beginning. Yes, yes, no, I'm, I'm absolutely certain. This is completely what I wanna do. Okay, thank you. here to say hi. Second dog of the house. I've got three dogs in this house and they're all great. This is a nice little secondary content while we watch the intro, right? Yeah, this animation and art continue to astound. I feel like this in Kingdom. Well, honestly, there's a lot more now that I think about it, but just games that have set a really impressive new standard for even just pixel art lately. It's incredible. No, oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. What, what kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. I don't have a good feeling about this. Sushi bar by the blue hole. So, of course, we have gone through all this once before, but I've been told that there's been several changes brought to us via 1.0 that make it worth uh, starting fresh again here. So we'll see. What that's all about. Not to mention, honestly, I feel like I could probably use the refresher anyway, despite the fact that it's been not too long since we played some Dave. Nice form! Ha 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 ha! Alright. Hold on, sorry, I feel like I'm peeking a little here. I'm about to try stretching out a bit. Try moving to the marked area. With shift, you can move quickly. Remember, this speeds up oxygen consumption. Right, right. I wasn't even considering the controller here, but now that I'm doing this, I think I'll just stick with it. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Let's now practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies, the dive knife. Try using the survival knife on small fish. Try just stabbing some fish, Dave. Just cut up some fish, Dave. can't reach them. They're too fast. Am I doing this wrong? Oh, no. Just use it, right? Yeah, okay. Well done. Smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? The harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first and then... Mm. Ah, looks like you'll need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch 
uh, let's say three fish. Okay. That's right. That's right. That's how we do it. Here's the widow guy. No calmer. And then, boop. Sea Goldie. I think that should get you back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. Easy peasy. Now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure, that soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh, man, that's just the best. Ah, well, listen up. I have a friend who's a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It's right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum, I'm already craving it. I bet, so... Why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Ah, nothing to worry about. The restaurant's all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? It's always tempting. I mean, I have to do it. As the streamer, I'm obligated to, to make these choices for, for the good of mankind. I need to see what happens. Uh, I don't really have any money on me. I don't think I can pay. Hmm. That reminds me. I just remembered that a while ago you broke my underwater drone. The repair cost was about 500 gold, but I didn't charge you for it. It broke after five seconds of use. It was broken already, wasn't it? What do you mean? It was, it was totally fine. Well, okay, so what should I do? It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant, ah ha ha. Uh, Alright. What's this new bag? It's pretty fancy, isn't it, babe? Look at this. Moving components. Ooh, fancy. Hey, Bonjo, we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished? You? Ah, uh, you're the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. So you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh, boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life is, one that, that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to every... An, an earthquake? The interior is really quite a mess. Why is that on? Turn on. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair cost through doing business. In this state? Bwahaha! <laughs> In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. It would be funny if Boncho just spoke in reverb. Yeah, that is true, actually. Only three fish. This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. But that's just sort of his vibe, anyway. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and the restaurant's only going to be open in the evening. Won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision. Just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You'll need to get back to me with the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Dude, dude. This game's really pushing me toward a sushi lunch. I'm, I'm thinking something similar, honestly. Seems Boncho's real passionate about his work. 
You may not talk about his personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. Blah ha ha. I haven't seen Bancho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have brought that up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish first. Okay. Minus a hundred gold. Oh, that's good. I'm back to Dave. Come to think of it, it's already been around eight years that we've known each other. I was having fun diving back then near Richelieu Rock. You suddenly wanted to get your suitcase that fell off the boat. I thought I was in real trouble back then. I was working as a weapon dealer and there were important blueprints in the suitcase. Luckily, you saved them before they could get ruined. I have no idea how I would have fought Hans Lindman without the blueprints. Hans Lindman? Oh, I was talking to myself. Don't mind me. Hey, Narya. It's boating well. Boating well with the boat. Just getting started here in 1.0 and Dave. With our first proper dive, I suppose. Boat tap. Yeah, there we go. Ah, we're back. This feels good. Ah, this is a... I, I don't like to use the word because it makes me feel like I'm trying to be hip. But this is a vibe. This game is just a pure vibe. It is just the 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 sound design, the atmosphere, the the gameplay loop, the general lack of pressure and stress that comes with it. I'm also gonna move my face up here, I think. They added some new Bacho animations too, nice. Yeah, it's just it's just a pleasant experience. <laughs> Gotcha. Hey now. All right, that's a that's a shrimp. I have to have a specific tool to get those things. Same with the seahorse, I think. Yeah. And the jellies. Very calming soundtrack. Yeah. Bear searching for some fish. Yeah. Just, just feels right, doesn't it? Little shock bang stick. Kinky. Yeah, I just love swimming around in this game, man. With an objective. I can't help but admit that that most of the appeal I think is that we're swimming around with a purpose I remember that being sort of what turned me off to the um, to the second half of the early access experience was the fact that we were maybe not swimming around aimlessly, but it, it felt as though our purpose had shifted to something less significant for a little while. Not that, you know, I get, okay, that's, that's not the right word either. Less aligned with my interests. There we go. That's more accurate. Serving up less of what I have come to know and love from this game. insist on bringing those times back up so frequently when we're just now re-entering the blue hole. Maybe open yourself up to the possibility that they've even improved that section. It's pretty likely, in fact. A renewal. Welcome back. Data Dragon. Think about the nine months. Give him some bear hugs, please, if you got him. Think about the support. Welcome back.
Can I get this guy? I think I can. I'm just gonna let him go back down. Grab this first. Nice. Ah, oh, man. Come on, buddy. There we go. Ah, oh, apparently not. All right. We're good. We're good. Ah, oh, we can't go this deep yet, though. That's right. I think there was an O2 thing on the other side of this. Got our uh, got our scooter as well, along with the O2. There we go. Quick movement if need be. Oh yeah, you want to come after me, don't you? Two can play that game. Bring it on, then, bud. Yeah. some lionfish in the mix. No problem with that. Oh, shit. Shock baton! Yeah! If you exceed your weight limit, you'll slow down. If you exceed an even higher amount, you won't be able to carry anymore. You can organize, though. You need to drop a kilo. One kg. Lionfish are heavy, dude. I guess we don't really need the copper right now, do we? There we go. That'll work. Let's get out of here. Are we looking for a submarine? No, we're just getting some fish for now. Let's get more interesting in a little while, I'm sure. No, for a fact. All right. Looks like you caught quite a few. This rate will make boatloads of money in no time. Sorry, I'm having to constantly move this pad back up. My, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Deserved, overwhelmingly positive reviews at that kung fu. Yeah, you. If you haven't seen anything about this game, let, let me be the first to just go ahead and blindly recommend it to you because it's outstanding. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hours start. Can do. Taking the entire bear pile out for sushi. Place the order. I'll get it ready for you. Also, bear dance. I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onward. What? I don't understand. Cobra told me there'd be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Well, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Okay. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. I. All right, now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Yep. Clownfish. Max 2. Add it in. Alright, that probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough. Now use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Auto supply. Well, we don't need to do that yet. We could probably manage our menu on an individual level. 
Let's see, the enhance, which we apparently can't do yet, but we're gonna wanna do soon. We'll serve up our red lionfish. Get ourselves a little bit of orbicular batfish, delicious. And some rainbow wrasse. Rasse? I don't know. Sounds good. That works. How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, well, only soft drinks, I think. I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. And then... Customers who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. Wah -ha -ha. As expected, Bancho's green tea is quite something. Mm, that tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat? Perhaps. <laughs> Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Probably, probably manage that. Oh, I gotta move my face again, don't I? Hold up. Come here, come here, my face. There you are. Give me that. You can dash when serving food. Run! Hello! You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. It was fast. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. Mm. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. Oh. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. <laughs> Bonzo Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Oh. Well, all right. Next. Hold Q. Everything looks about ready. I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. <laughs> Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. All right. Well, I feel like we're probably ready to open Bancho Sushi, but if, if, if more bear dances showed up in chat, that would probably be reassuring. I feel like at that point, we would be certain that we're ready to go. That looks better. All right, let's do it. Open! Day one. 1. 1.0. Dave's back, baby. You won't be able to produce food if you run out of wasabi. Uh, go. Yeah. Green tea time. And nailed it. Ooh. Yeah, nice. Good stuff. All the way over. Come on. There we go. Very nice, Dave. Keep going. Keep going. Beautiful. Refill the wasabi. Nailed it. Ooh, okay, clean it up. Clean it up. Nice. We're back, baby. Back in the groove. Oh no, a little bit spilled. Doesn't matter. Still nailed it. Let's go the furthest one first. I don't know who was here first, but I'll teach you to not sit closer to the chef. It's an important lesson learned. Proximity wins. Way better than I expected. Weirdly insulting? But we'll take it. Or I'll take it on Bancho's behalf anyway. Hey, we're almost not in debt anymore. All right. One gold piece at a time. Maybe they didn't want to sit under the sparking speaker. Fair. Fair point. Day one complete. Hell yeah.
Work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. Oh, me too, dude. Oh, shit. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. Work it off. Well, I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> a man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, yeah, yeah all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. A toast indeed. Are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so that's what happened to my Amazon packages. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? <laughs> okay. So, what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Give me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. The re reward Well, I wasn't refusing. I, I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. She almost managed to please. Kind of a halfway please. You can use your phone to access various types of content. I knew all about that, actually. Yeah, I was already w w very familiar. Maybe a little too well-versed in that. All right, day two. Well, I guess we should check the phone real quick. I don't need to call anybody, though, I don't think. No games? They don't even got no games. Pretty sure I made that exact joke the first time. I am, I am a surface-level human. Slash bear operating in a highly advanced animatronic. So the setup in the background didn't change. I'm still just in a cubby. It's like it's it's a room just like the previous one. Is a room that's just entirely built to encompass me and me alone, built perfectly to the dimensions of my bare body, just so I can operate this device. It allows for focus. Singular mindset. The only objective is the bear taffy. And the only objective of the bear taffy is the Dave. And the diving with the Dave. Hyperbaric time chamber plus two. Chubb's nook. Honestly, it was an oversight on the design, but he weirdly seemed to prefer the animatronics presence over mine. So, I'll just let him enjoy what he liked. Freddy Fazbear, I'll give you. I'll give you plus one. Isn't that just his name? You know it's still worth the plus two. Who am I to control the points like that? Go ahead and have both. Treat yourself. You're not 
max depth again. So really just going after the starfish this time, I guess. There's a wreck. Oh, there's the starfish. Nice. Thank you. Get out of here. Go away. Big old jerk. Thank you. I guess that'll do it. Do a quick trip. Yeah, I'm already very glad I got back into an X. A very good time. Time to overfish. Yeah, I was trying to remember how... Just how much we're allowed to get before it completely stops me. Looks like we can get a little bit more than this. I think we can make it be good up to like 150% or something like that. That sounds right. Hey, little guys. Are you fighting fish with a fencing foil? Effectively. It feels like it's functional. Well, that could be a fallacy. Fortunately, I don't need to fret for our fish findings have been fortuitous. Hey, there you are. Uh, I think it's doing so off and on, Jake, I'm blocking things in the UI. Uh, depending on which UI we're looking at, so I think I need to find a universal location for my face. You actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. All right, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. <laughs> Top right. Top right, by the way. I'll try that out. Could go with the old full screen 40% opacity. Yeah, that'll do. Am I attack? Sorry, I'm trying to balance the audio on the fly here. I, I know things got shifted in flight, apparently. Thank you. Dave, you collected a hundred gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. Nice. All right. That, that approving thumbs Welcome up from Boncho is always a good feeling. Flame Onion! I only watch to see your face, full screen face camera, right? right? Mm. We'll see what I can do. I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Yeah. I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something put them on edge? Oh. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun <laughs> in addition to the harpoon? <laughs> a gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this guy. Wow, Cobra. It's been a while. Who's the goofy-looking guy next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. People who live in glass houses. Okay. So what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business, ha ha ha. And now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. Uh, season two of Strust. <laughs> I love that they feel the need to put the logo for the show up for that line of dialogue. Season two of Strustella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. 
The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go in. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. That is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns which have precision parts. Oh, so we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him, right, Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back up with one item. Also, you'll die. So that's, that's important to note. Don't die, Dave. I called him Dive. Don't die, Dave. Don't die, don't Dave Diver. Diver Dave. Rope is my favorite component of a gun. It's, it's an oft forgotten element. Critical to any functional weapon success. Don't bring a rope to a gunfight. see Duff having a four Greg's voice. I'm still trying to figure his out despite I've, I've had all summer to work on it to figure it out. I still haven't gotten it. He's, he's, he's like this. You know, he's like, hey, I'm, I'm tough. I think I'm better than you. Because I know how to make weapons. It's not quite there yet. It's getting there. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Rope acquired. <laughs> it could just be Duffman. Yeah, that would be good. Duffman as a huge anime nerd. I might have to try that next time. More nasal. Yeah, and no, I haven't ever been able to like... The, the only way I can do this voice is if like I literally hold my nose. Like I can't... Can't like, can't. Uh, I mean, like, there's, there's something like this, I guess. Like, hey, I'm Duff. Duff man. Duff man just finished watching season two of Straw Stella. I don't know. I think I like the other one better. Just making Muscle Man from regular show. Unfamiliar but I feel like I could probably figure it out just based on that description. A renewal. Welcome back. Kitten. Nearly have the magic number for you, Kitten74. 73 months on the pile. Welcome on back in. Duke Phillips from The Critic. I'm honestly wanting to just, like, try what these voices are in my head based on the description of their characters alone. That's a more fun one experiment now. Is Duke Phillips from The Critic. He's, he's Duke, Duke Phillips. Duke Phillips. Hi, I'm done Duke Phillips. Please pass me the Ratatouille. And then there's there's Muscle Man. Welcome from regular show. It was very loud. Must be. He's like, calm down like this! Muscle man! Take a look at these biceps! Something like that. Soft low! Thank you for the six months. Thank you for the prime. I'm also pumped to be playing Dave again. Thank you for the bear hugs for him, please. Welcome back in. Rawr. Well, that's most of our weight again.
Make him Zap Brannigan. New Futurama. Oh my god, you just reminded me. That's soon, isn't it? They put out the trailer a few days ago. And it just looks like new Futurama. Like, not even, like, any different. It's just, like, new new season, new episodes of the same old Futurama. That's going to be pretty great. Mm -hmm. Next month. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Well, to think you'd actually manage to bring it back. No, that doesn't work. I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. He's, he's a little deeper now, though, I think. I've, I've committed to that. Seems I've underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. It's well optimized. Only 42 megabytes, you could say. Is that a... Is he trying to do a, a thing here? He's trying to... Referencerize? Open the weapon shop app. Craft a basic underwater rifle. Let's do it. And that's why he's the best character. Yep. Thank you. With a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Well, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Wow, weapon chests. You can't bring them out of the sea, but they still come in handy. You could say. No, you could just you can just say what you mean. Oh, but I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Weapons made with the blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, Eternity! You can craft weapons at Duff's Weapon Shop, acquiring a weapon a certain number of times. Complete blueprint, make a weapon, craft, god, job, job. Hey. Hmm. Wrap up the day and get things ready at Banjo Sushi. Let's do it. As soon as that drum hits, dude, I'm grooving. Okay, so I'm blocking the clock up here. I'm clocking the block. Maybe if I'm like right there, something like that. game's tempting me, not gonna lie. Again, I will strongly recommend this if you haven't played it yourself yet. It is outstanding. Noise. Enhance! 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 Or not. All right. Serve that up. Serve that up. Oh, hold on. Oh, we don't have more than one? Okay. There we go. Just a regular hands, yeah. There's those. And we'll do the one level three C bream. That'll work. Let's do it. Bear dance for the opening. Nice and easy early on. Hey, how you doing? You need some tea? Okay. There you go. Bad? No! I gave you more than you wanted. That is a pretty picky person, if you ask me. Extra green tea. 
Unacceptable. Not the standard I sought out from Bancho Sushi. Well-known reputable establishment. Well, at least we're in the positive now. There are no items on the menu. I might have over-enhanced today. Nice. Yeah, if we can't actually serve them anything. I'm just gonna get a normal old sushi roll, huh? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need to be more careful about that, I guess. Although I do feel like we probably still made a good amount of money from those things. But I think that's literally like one coin a piece from those last two. Yeah, oh well. That'll work. 37, oof, yeah, way less, never mind. Gotta make sure we got a decent supply. All right, noted. using the wrong mic arm, I just realized, too. I thought that was the sound of his yawn. Oh, man. Are you Dave by any chance? Yeah, what is it, sir? Well, I'm always right about these things. Ha! <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People Civilization. The Sea People Civilization? I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me to tell you all about them? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have asked. The Sea People civilization lives in legends. They're said to have occupied this region a very long time ago. They worshipped fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. They lived in the depths allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other civilizations, but sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's about all there is to the story. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. The proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see such things in comic books or games. What well, makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found it from no known civilization. It dated to around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Oh, that is interesting. But what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out, and he won't be around for a while. Bazinga! That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh. My assistant told me that the artifact was found... Oh, whoops. My assistant told me the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. Ah, sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. Yeah, ha, ha. What? We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Bancho Sushi will be bursting at the seams. I suppose you have a point. All right, I'll help. Isn't that lucky? Now, of course, I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Whoa! With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, huh? Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. How fascinating. The iDiver app allows you to enhance various diving equipment. Upgrade equipment with the money you make at the sushi bar and elsewhere and explore deeper waters. Sorry, I think I need to just get rid of that pad. It just keeps sliding out from under me. Now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. I'll install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. You can trust me with your unlocked phone. Free upgrade. Nice. Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your uh, cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch. I'm gonna upgrade that O2 tank, dude. Or no, actually, I wanna get the uh, carrying capacity. 
That's the big one early. I don't think I have enough for both. Yeah, but this is definitely the best one. Nice. 110 gold to get up to 19 kg. We got our objective. Already opening up, dude. Hey, Chip. Yes, indeed. Day three, 1.0. Dave the Diver. It's a good game. Nah, this isn't our new place. This is, uh, I'm hanging out at my parents for a bit while we are in our transitionary period. Yeah, there we go. Just force them in. People say you can't work the bear puns in there. You haven't tried hard enough. Anything could be a bear pun. That's right, Birdie. Anything could be a bear pun. Don't you say otherwise. Oh, whoa, whoa. dogs. Very protective of their of their environment. Anybody around, we will know it very quickly. Hey there, Needlin. If you've ever played Cook, Serve, Delicious or Subnautica, Think of those two games combined into a 2D game. That's Dave. It's also got its own stuff going on. I highly recommend it. It's very, very good. We're gonna... We're gonna drown that out a little bit. Let her throw her fit down there. with the vibe, bird. <laughs> Trying to chill out down here. <laughs> Urta would be better. Ur for Ursa slash Ursine. Hey, smart puns. Uh, I, I, I'm insulted. Because I didn't immediately Welcome understand back. it, and therefore my intelligence is coming to question. But with the explanation, I'm in on the joke, and therefore I feel validated. Blade Phoenix. I think with the two months, welcome back in. That does open up a whole new realm of possibilities, doesn't it? If you use either of the two. Who knows what sort of punsibilities we have in store for us. every single freaking one blade I recognize that when that alert happens it means that someone has chosen to give me some of their money for the things that I do and I want to say hey thanks for that you didn't have to do that you know this is free right picking up new weapons will allow you to collect blueprints when you reach a certain number of blueprints you'll be able to craft a new weapon a non-lethal tranquilizer gun hush dart. Hell yeah. Oh, the Ursanity. Mm-hmm. I'm with it. And 99. Sleepy baby. There's a good boy. Star Titan Triggerfish. That's the good stuff, dude. That'll be real nice 
dish to serve tonight. In fact, I'm thinking we probably go ahead and try to snag a couple more of those. Make that our main course for the evening. I'm sorry, buddy. That was me. I wasted a hush dart on you. God, I better follow through now, I guess, but... Oh, it's still three stars. Nice. I don't know about fighting a shark yet. That seems a little advised. He's just gonna munch me, dude. Oh, yeah. Got an ammo refill. animatronic human costumes require constant maintenance. That is another reason I feel compelled to thank you is for, the, for exactly that. You're allowing for another... <laughs> every, every subscription pays for five minutes of operation. Welcome back. It's... It's extremely cost prohibitive. Like, I, I, the, the fact that I've managed to maintain my streaming presence as long as I have... Is a mystery. Chippy on diamond. I feel like I nailed that. I hope I did. Thank you for the sub as well. And for voluntarily giving me money for the content I create. Much appreciated. a nearly full pack. I guess I could probably still go for the artifact. Do have a whole bunch of O2 left after all. Close enough, I'll take it. Oh, I think I might have just used that word in not that way, dapper. I'm not undergoing any kind of operation. Or surgery currently. Although that would be pretty impressive if I were doing this simultaneously along with being operated on. There's a new challenge for me. Sure, Barry, you've completed the Grand Slam in Darkest Dungeon 2, but have you done it on the operating table? True gamers get their tonsils out while they're defeating the body of work. Their streams happen back to me while playing Dave the Diver. I feel like it would boost my viewership at least a little bit. Is that a pure curiosity? Cure curiosity. You'll know the, the depths of desperation I've reached. Once you see the surgeon and the thumbnail. Do not get your tonsils out as an adult if you can avoid it. I had it three weeks ago and it was miserable. I'm certainly hoping not to. I had a friend actually who had to have her tonsils out recently as an adult as well. She shared similar sentiments. Yeah, I would definitely like to avoid it. I believe you can be at 150% of your weight, so we are, like, right on the cusp. In fact, I literally can't pick this up right now. So... Let's get rid of the copper again. Oh, Dave, I think that's the one. Come back to the boat safely. I'll be waiting. I forgot about you. Hi, buddy. What was that just now? 
Oh, I'll have to go back to the boat right away. Let's do that very thing, buddy. Do you have an escape pod around here somewhere? I think there might be one over here. Is that it? No, it's just that too. Let's get refilled on that real quick, though. I guess I've got a portable one. I might as well just use that. I think this might be inaccessible up here. Ah, oh, no, we're good. Just had the world's biggest takoyaki party. That that thing would be service for the next few months, I think. brought it safely it seems to be in very good condition almost as if it was stored somewhere until recently hmm very interesting this may be the find of the century even all right dave let's continue to work together and uncover the secrets of the sea people civilization what, what? i thought i'd only be helping you once <laughs> of course say no more just put our restaurant at the top of the list of affiliates that won't be hard to do <laughs> I have a very lucky feeling about this. I love the implication there. I'll be in touch. Oh, don't worry. No one else has any interest in supporting this endeavor. You'll be at the very top. All right. Hmm. Dave, while you were out at sea, the repairs were completed. Let's head to the restaurant. That was quick. Hey! It's looking very nice. It doesn't matter how delicious the food is, the restaurant can't be a mess! If you want to change the interior, the interior menu below is open, so please check it. I kind of do. I'm gonna freely change up the interior of Bancho Sushi. Ah, oh, but... As Dr. Bacon said, if the remains of the sea people are found here, customers will indeed come, but... This area is kind of remote. So I think I'll need a way to advertise the store until then. Yeah, these days it's just about impossible to attract customers without publicity. Have you tried the social media app named Cooksta? You mean the social media app young people use to post pictures of the food they eat? Yeah, that's how all businesses are promoting themselves lately. I simply can't understand why people would waste their time like that. Sushi makes an impression on the heart, not photographs. Even so, isn't it better to use it than to keep people ignorant of your food, Boncho? You have a point there. Making an account is simple, so let's try it out. You first register and make the hashtag Boncho Sushi, and then... Done! Hmm, well, not as complicated as I, ex as I expected. Now customers happy with your food will follow Boncho Sushi. I'm not sure about this, but... Okay, I got it. I'll also install the Cooks app on my phone and check the followers' posts. Bear, bear, bears, bearings, bear beyond bear, bears. Yeah. Sorry, just that didn't break my brain along with everyone else's real quick there, I guess. Raise your rating in Cooks More customers will visit and new foods will be unlocked. The unlock conditions and new ratings can be seen in the Cooks app. Okay. Interior decoration. All oh, right, yeah, this is why I avoided this early on. Costs freaking money, dude. Oh, we do have this one, though. Yeah, we can put up Cobra's picture. There we go. That's adorable, at least. All right, cool. We got to go back to the uh, boat, though. We got to go dive again. See you later, Boncho. I think. There we go. Just had to put my wetsuit back on. All right. 
Now we get kind of our first, uh, not free, free form dive, free form jazz dive, but I guess like kind of restrictionless dive this time. Oh, never mind. Hi, buddy. Dolphin? It seems to be asking me to follow. Should I try? No, don't follow the dolphin trying to communicate with you. Ignore a literal conversation with nature. Clearly, that's what you should do. Wait up, bud. You're so fast. Such a good swimmer. Oh, no. The pink dolphin's caught in the net. It was asking me to rescue its friend. I can handle that. All oh, right, yeah, okay. Yay. This is the sequel. It seems to have left a gift. I didn't even know dolphins had mates. A pearl. Nice. All right, and now I believe we've been more or less set free. Nice. Interesting fact, dolphins use baby talk with their calves just like humans do. That's adorable. I also want to know how that study was performed. Because that sounds like it must have been an, uh, an extremely enjoyable experiment. Discovery, though, like, yeah, no, I, I, I guess I miss, I miss, phrased my um, speculation. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. Uh oh, I went the wrong way here. Thought I had O2 for some reason. Perhaps the game will see fit to take pity. Perhaps we'll find some sort of... Oh, God, no, I'm just going to run directly into the spikes. You always got to watch your oxygen. Just... Oh, God. Mm. David, 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 take the pearl and get the hell out of there. Silly bear. Dave, this giant blue hole looks infinitely more dangerous than any other place. Always pay attention to your oxygen. And use the escape pod when you're in danger to get out quickly. I can rescue you if you run out of oxygen, but you'll only be able to bring back one of the items you collected. It's already evening. I feel stiff. Even so, Boncho's working alone. I should probably help. It's not easy to manage with two people with more customers coming in. 
Let's make some hires. I think we'll have the money for it now. Cobra with the backseat diving. It's justified. I mean, he did just watch me drown myself. He's just trying to help. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Looks around audibly. This is Bancho's sushi place, huh? Hmm. Miss Yoshi? I came by because I heard this place is getting popular around Cooksta. The name gave me pause, but to think it's really your place. New food using never before seen ingredients. Can't taste this anywhere else. A taciturn but masculine chef. Well, do they mention me too? No, not really. In any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshi? Oh, various reasons. I wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like you're... still the same. Well, there's nothing to change. I simply continue on day by day training myself. My goodness, that is the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion, and that's what got you booted from the hotel. Mm. You're talking about that again. That's the customer's fault for judging the food without even trying it. Mm. How long will you continue treating customers that way? Mm. To keep making that terrible food? What do you mean terrible? Whole roasted shark head is an excellent dish. Shark has been used in cuisine in both the West and the East, and in Korea it was even used in ancestral rituals. Stop, you've not changed one bit. Let me judge for myself, then, whether it's food fit for consumption. Then I can tell you why I came. Fine, then, I'll show you. I'll make sure you know the true taste of shark head meat. Bancho, isn't, the, isn't this development a bit sudden? Dave! As a chef, this is a fight I can't back out of. My pride hangs in the balance. Please get me a white tip reef shark head and olive oil. You, you want me to catch a white tip reef shark? Yes. With your skills, it should be easy enough to do. But a harpoon's not likely to be enough. Take a good gun with you into battle. Even so, fighting a shark sounds way too dangerous. You mean to say you'll just stand by and watch while my pride is trampled? The white tip reef shark is usually found in the ocean far to the right. Good luck. He suddenly wants me to get him a shark head. This is preposterous. He can only be killed with a gun. I'll have to ask Duff to make me a gun. Or search for one in the blue hole. A scolding from Yoshi. Sometimes special customers with a backstory will hear of the sushi bar and visit. Learn dishes that the customers want through research and serve them to the customers. Use the artisan's flame to expand your menu. Do it. Noise. All right. Let's take a look at our menu today. See if we can upgrade that trigger fish as planned. Indeed, we can. Noise. Ooh, I think this is new. phenomenal excellent all right and then let's upgrade this guy once as well that's probably good get you on the menu get you on the menu lots of trigger fish today that'll be nice and then there we go nice good stuff let's do it does researching work? Do you need a shark head to research and then a second one to actually make it? I think you can just make it immediately with the shark head that you get, if I recall correctly. Right there, right there. Perfect! Nailed it, bear.
So yeah, she'll just be chilling there for now while we don't have the shark head available to serve. Oh yeah, that's way more money now. Much, much better. Thank you very much. Got a cooks to review, all right. Clear out there, bud. Gotcha. Green tea? Can I just do in some green tea? No? Okay. Let's get that wasabi back. Beautiful. Don't even need the help right now. Thought we need to make a hire, but we're doing good. Beautiful. It's not bad. In fact, I'd go so far as to say it's pretty good. Might be so bold. I feel bad that you can't at least give her green tea while she waits. She's... She's a determined sort. She's only here for what she needs. There we go, dude. 127? Much better. Big money. More artisan's flames. Hello? Hey, Dave! I've got the luckiest news! What is it, Dr. Bacon? You look happy. I analyzed the artifact you brought me, and a large amount of an unknown substance was detected. I think it must be iron compressed deep underwater, but it gives off a unique wavelength. I went ahead and developed a radar to track those waves. Oh, and why is that news lucky? Ah, being coy today, are we? This radar is bound to come in useful in your next expedition. What do you What do you mean, my next expedition? Cobra forced me to go along last time. I was given a contract with your name on it. The cancellation charge for breaking the contract is over 20... No. What, what in the world are you two talking about? Ah, don't be so by the book. Check the signal for me to test out the radar. <sighs> Give it to me. I'll tell you if it works and no more. To be honest, I haven't noticed a huge difference between early access and 1.0 so far, keyboarder, but it is very early on still. I'm sure there's going to be changes upcoming. Let's check Hookstuck. Look at everybody's new posts. Delicious. Outstanding. Delightful. A sea people artifact. What a lucky day. Yeah, I mean, the fact that uh, we we can tell very little difference between this and the early access version just goes to show you how good it already was in early access, right? Indeed. Cargo box upgrade, sick. Second cargo box upgrade? Don't mind if I do, dude. Let's bring a whole bunch of fish back today. Hell yeah. And then we do need to get a rifle for the for the shark. So let's do that. Magic. It's pure magic. All right, I think we're ready to dive. This is a very funny looking DD2 run. Mods have gotten wild, dude. In such a short time. That does make me excited to eventually do some DD2 mods. Just got that in my brain. Time to fire my gun! Let's go shark hunting, boys. And girls. And others. Pile members, one and all. Back on the menu. 
Triple axle, huh? That'll do. That'll work. Nice. Boncho said, over to the right. Far right for the reef shark. It's probably going to be a lot easier to get to him if I go back to the top. I'm not sure I can even go this way. We can, but it sucks up the O2 much more quickly, I'm now realizing. Yeah, okay. In fact, I'm probably just going to die again doing this. Bear, you fool. What have you done? You're dead. That's it, buddy. You're gone again. See you later. Crushed under the mighty depth of the ocean. Oh no! The same thing! Literally the same thing, wasn't it? I just did it again. Oh no. This is shameful. Well, I'm down on the corner and I'm gone. Rip me. I killed Dave. I did. I shouldn't have done that, but I did it. Oh, Dave, I'm sorry, buddy. Maybe I'll learn my lesson this time. Probably not. Damn it. Damn it, Dave. Why'd you make me do that? I'll get one red lionfish. All right, and then I'm going to learn my lesson, right? I'm going to finally apply that which has been shown to me to my advantage. It's just a single wasted morning. Just an entire wasted dive, no problem. Hoppity hop! You! You know a lot about this giant blue hole? Well, um, I'm not sure what to say to that. It's different in there every time. Yeah, that's it. It's the best place to co collect Marinka. I could complete my collection in this place, ha ha Marinka? Don't tell me you don't know the highly popular ocean life trading cards, Marinka. How can you not have heard of the futuristic trading cards that utilize an AI recognition system that automatically corresponds to fish in real life? Uh, never heard of them. Sounds fun, though. You seem quite behind the times. Let me help you install the app. So you do this. Press here, touch it, that a friend. Done! Oh. Okay, so what do I do now? The amazing thing about this Marinka is you don't really need to do anything special. Just catch a few new fish and you'll get a card. Check the cards every now and then on the app and you're done. I see, I guess I'll be able to easily see what fish I've caught so far. That's right, it's almost like a... Well, you don't want to be saying the name, I understand, I'll try it out. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I'm Sato. I'll give you my contact info, so hit me up if you have any questions. See you then. Choo-choo! I have a Pokemon banner ad literally right now. The algorithm knows. Catching fish will allow you to automatically acquire marine cards. You'll get fancier cards for catching higher grade fish. Also, I'm not sure what you're talking about. This isn't resembling any specific uh, legally... Uh, you know, sue them for the Pokemon reference. That's the joke. Okay, dive back in, Bear. Cast that aside. And dive back in. Isn't Ash's name in the Japanese version of the show Satoshi? Is it? Well, there you go. <laughs> full circle. Let me get my gun back out real quick. Oh, hold on. Don't forget. I don't know, actually. I think I'd rather have the rifle. No night diving yet. I don't think it actually allows me to yet. I 
little friend. Oh, that's a great point. Picking it up would have finished the blueprint. Let's just get the one here then. Or that. Ooh, actually. I think I can use that to take out the shark. I might do it by itself. I stick with the gun, though. Thank you. Hang on to this for a sec. While we scope out our surroundings. Then go grab it. And probably head down to the right still. If Monster Energy Drink thinks they can sue Pokemon for having the word monster in their name, then Game Freak can sue Dave for that. There was something similar with... Um, well, there was the Prey thing. Pray for the gods, where they force them to add the A before the E to make it legally distinct. There was another one that I think is even worse than that, not too long ago. I'm trying to remember. There's been some really silly claims. Was it scrolls? I think it might have been scrolls, yeah. Yeah, that feels ancient at this point, though. Just mentioning scrolls brings me back. No, not a 2v2. I'm not interested in that right now. Oh, oh, you gotta rotate like that. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, get him poisoned. Oops. Mm. There we go. Sweet. Even better. Shark head obtained. Let's just get a bunch of fish. <laughs> Not like that. Well, now that one's got a giant bullet hole in it. Yeah, it's still servable. We just have to tell our patrons to fish the bullets out of their meat. Fish the bullets out of their fish. Thank you. Start. Ooh, this is some high quality goods. I wonder if I can. I bet I can harvest that too. If I can put them to sleep anyway. Yeah, I don't think it works. Second hush dart. Now you're feeling extra sleepy? Yeah, I don't think that's strong enough on him. Let's just murder him. Feels mean, but should be effective. Nice dodge, Dave. Well done, dude. There we go. Yummy. Got O2 right here. Try to get one more little fishy. I think you can harpoon the goldfish. I think you can also do this. Give him a nice little nap. 
before chopping them to bits. Nice. I'm pretty sure I can get a lot more stuff. Come here. It's going to be a much lower quality one, of course. Alright, I think it's time to go. Although we are really close. Oh, bear. Don't do this. It's too deep. Don't do it. Don't give up all your fish. Go back to the surface. Consider this a win. Big fish need the monster hunter treatment. They don't sleep without taking a beating. So you can weaken them and then put them to sleep? Okay, okay. space. Let's get all these little dudes on the way. Oops. Oh, apparently not. That is it. Oh, did I just pass a escape pod? Whoops. Oh, well, we're almost at the surface anyway. Hey, gear, welcome. Turn to Dave. Hell yeah. New PB. Shark meat acquired. Despite the uh, failure in the morning, should it still be a pretty damn good day. Let's hit it. Oh, someone was just at Boncho's. A boat just took off from the back room. Interesting. All right. We got our whole roasted shark head. Serving it up. Wait, is she not even here today? She's not here today. Maybe she'll show up. Ooh, we can enhance the long nose shark. Yes, please. So delicate. Yeah, I was thinking that. Maybe she was on the boat that left. Throw that on the list. Nice. Level three trigger fish, sure. Another patron may order the dish. Okay, yeah, I guess we better replace it then. Cuttlefish? Let's not upgrade that. Let's just serve it. Oops. I don't want to discard it. How do I... The remaining food will be discarded? No, why? Oh... Well, all right. Well, if someone orders it, I'll just go get another one tomorrow. That's not that bad. All right. Here we go, then. Fair dance for the opening night. Do, 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 do. Oh, there she is. Yay. All right. We're good. We're good. She's got it. Service. Ah, disgusting as usual. The look of it just ruins my appetite. Even so, a promise is a promise. Welcome back. Lazar! Thank you for the 61 months. Bear hugs, welcome back. How do you like it? It's good. It's tasty. I can taste the white tip reef shark fat inside the crispy whole roast. But it's not an overly cloying flavor. Is this is this ginger? 
The ginger scent mixes with the strong flavor of the head. It's quite lovely! Hmm. Pardon me, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. The Book of Five Rings states that one should look at the essence of something instead of its appearance. Sharks look terrible on the outside, but they have robust meat, and their head has a delicious taste. This whole roasted shark head brings such traits to their maximum potential. I must admit it, this is good. You pass, Boncho. Let me tell you why I'm here, then. This restaurant needs to hire people. I can help you with that. What do you mean? You still mean to go it alone, Boncho. This place is already operating at full capacity. Things might be okay for now, but you won't be able to cope when even more customers come. I can't continue working alone, but it's not easy to find people I can trust. I'm Yoshi the Recruiter. This is what I do these days. Let's start by putting out a hiring ad. Hire employees to reduce the workload. Employees help serve food in the dining area or make, or, uh, make cooking food faster. Let me tell you how to recruit staff. Pay close attention to what I say. Well, I need to serve this green tea real quick, if you don't mind. Post a hiring notice. Post the flyer. To begin. Yes. Deal. Hiring has begun. Good. The recruitment results become available the following day. I'll tell you more tomorrow. Bye. Bye then. Perfect. There you go. There you go. Wasabi. No wait for this. We're gonna make some good money today, dude. Why is an internet ad more expensive than a TV spot? I would expect it to be the other way around, especially with how much more expensive it was. Yeah, it seems a bit odd. AdSense is really hiking up the prices these days, apparently. Bronze acquired! Sweet! Salt grilled red toothed trigger fish. Kitchen staff, wasabi amount, added interior, and another menu slot. Nice. Yeah, we definitely need to hire somebody. I'm gonna need some help, dude. How do we have this many shark heads? I don't think we actually do. I think some people are gonna be disappointed here. Let's find out. Oh god. I gotta run, I gotta run. Run! Oh my god, Dave, go! Oh, Jesus, wow. I had five? Oh, jeez, well, that explains it, okay. Oh, we just had the one. Five-headed shark. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Goodness! Profitable day! New best by a mile. Okay. That ought to help. Hey, you haven't quit diving yet, have you? Uh, what is it this time? I'm doing some investigating for an important paper. I'm going to need some help. Give me three blue shells and three brown shells. Okay, but aren't you supposed to do this sort of thing yourself? You kidding me? Writing a paper requires a ton of research and investigation. What you're doing is only a very tiny part of it all. So don't let it get to your head. Hurry along, I don't have much time until the deadline. You really are impossible. But since you say it's for a paper, blue and brown shells? All right. Let's see if I can avoid dying this time. Maybe I should get myself some uh, O2 upgrades. Also a depth upgrade. There we go. That's probably better. Hit it. I love this check. 
It's, uh, it's simultaneously an equipment and a mental check. Ready for this brain? Dolphin pal. What's up, buddy? You must be the dolphin from before. Why does it look like it's in a hurry? I wonder if something's going on. Come to think of it, I don't see the pink dolphin this time. I should follow. Does anyone know if this game has decompression sickness as a mechanic? Nah, you just drown, quote unquote. Although, I don't know, maybe maybe they added that in 1.0. How do you keep getting caught? Be more careful. Nets are not your friend. The pink dolphin. Pirates must have captured it illegally. I should cut its net. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Rawr, rawr, rawr. They're fucking shooting at me. Monsters. Dave, don't get shot. Is apparently the new goal. Ow, fuck. Get it. All right, there we go. We're starting to swim away, dude. Boat away. Yay. They made a heart because they're in love. Not even a reward this time. Oh, they left another gift. I hope neither of them get caught again. Oh, they did give me a... Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay, thank you. That'll work. Worth its weight in gold. You, you weren't wrong. Perhaps even more so. Might as well keep getting these guys. That's certainly worth its weight in gold, right? Yeah. No doubt about that. That's always fun. Let's see if I can find a new weapon before I go further down. Don't forget about those seashells. up. That fat ass fish weighed more than the gold bar. It's a, it's a hefty boy. Hefty horker. Shock? No, poison harpoon again. Not my favorite. Especially because I don't love this as a reeling in method over the Space bar mashing, I've become a lot more adept at. Real good at mashing that button. Yes, please. Thank you. Need a few three star boys here. Oops. That's a new one, too. Nice. Pretty sure this will work on this guy. I don't have any more darts left, though. Let's see how far down we can go now. I suppose we should also go for the objective. I guess. Oh, nice. Shells must show up somewhere else. Oh, that's fun. Stuffed with cotton, but deals substantial damage. 
Those things must get real gross underwater. Hey, oh, too nice. Want a little bit of underwater black vinegar. Yummy. Blue shell, maybe? Yes, indeed. Nice. You can catch that seahorse, but you need a different kind of tool. There's like a little net that you get eventually for that. We don't have it yet. Thank you. There you are. No, wait. No, 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 no. Ugh, nice. That was easy. Lightning heart. That's a fun one. Let's go knock out the objective here. Having a good dive. Wow, so this is the place. Let's see. Uh, the signal's coming from inside. There are letters I've never seen before written on the pillar. Hmm. We had a tool of some sort. We can move aside that pile of rocks and try going inside. I think it would be best to talk this over with Cobra. Come on up for now. I thought I heard something. Let's fill up the cargo here in the lineup. Oh my god. What the heck? Oh! Whoa, that's unique. I haven't done that one yet. Oh my god. <laughs> that is fun. These poor things. All right, I got you, right? No? Still alive. Good lord. Dang old clown frogfish. This one's going to take a minute. But I think with that little mini game, you just have to hit the charge at the right time. Jeez, he is tanky. It's gonna be some low quality meat, unfortunately, if we do ever get it. He's gonna kill his friends before he goes down. Yeah, that's gonna be tough still. Alright, I guess that'll work. Jesus Christ. That is a tough kill. I guess it'll have to do it. Pre grilled fish, yeah, there you go. Yoink. Not quite. Come on. There it is. Nice painted comber. All right. Good enough for me. A successful dive. I love how happy he looks in the escape pod. Dave needs a W every now and then. I found a place with a signal from the Sea People Civilization. I can't hold back my academic thirst to check it out. I'm in an important symposium right now. Please talk it over with Cobra first. I'll come by tomorrow. Time to craft a hush dart? Maybe. How to get rid of rock piles? You'll have to use a bomb, of course. Ha ha ha. Is it okay to detonate bombs underwater? Were you talking about a rock pile somewhere deep below? I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's put a little trust in the sea's regenerative power. He's trying to gloss things over again. But there's an issue. The delivery ships haven't been arriving lately. I need to get a delivery from a bomb expert I know. Apparently the ship's gone off the radar. I think it's sunk. If I could use the drone I ordered, we could retrieve the supplies. Dave, could you go into the sea and retrieve drone materials? Drone materials? How am I supposed to find them in the ocean? It's huge! Delivery boxes are likely to have been carried by the ocean currents. Look for a place with ocean currents. That sounds dangerous. You're well versed in that, my friend. 
Already? <laughs> that was harder than I expected. These are hard to find. Well, this isn't bad. Now then, if I could just complete the delivery to Eco Watcher. Ta-da! Ha-ha! Research level gained. Huh? Eco Watcher? Oh, you don't know? Eco Watcher is a mission-based app made to protect the environment. You get points for completing missions on the app and get rewards for reaching certain levels. This should be a thing. I don't know how you'd really, like, realistically make it a thing where you could, like, make an app that artificially rewards people for, like, cleaning up trash on the side of the road or picking up garbage on the beach or some shit, you know? That'd be brilliant. Yeah. So this is for points in the app, not for a paper? Oh, well, uh, well, you could say they're basically the same thing. You should try it out, too, if you're interested. See ya! That'd be pr pretty freaking effective, dude. Use the Eco Watcher app to check on various ecological missions and gather points to receive various rewards. Like, fucking, like, imagine you could, like, a Dairy Queen put up an offer. It's like, it's like good publicity for the businesses, too. It makes them eco-friendly, or at least look eco-friendly, while also not being eco-friendly simultaneously. But, like, if you pick up garbage on the highway for five minutes, you get a free DQ Blizzard. Like, some sh stupid shit like that, you know? People would eat that up. People would eat that blizzard up. Hmm. All right. Let's go find some computer parts at the bottom of the ocean. Sounds good to me. Oh, I did forget to do the hush start, but that's fine. We can do that in the morning. Something for all the new AI systems to do. Give out points to humanity via surveillance. <laughs> oh boy, I feel like we just gotta peek into the future with that. Remember, bear companies will spend $5 billion to advertise that they donated 5K to a charity. That's what I'm saying. There's, there's been more foolish corporate investments made. I feel like they'd at least be down to give it a go. how they give money back on cans and bottles here and now people are picking them up all over the place. Yeah, it's honestly a proven method. Ooh, tranquilizer harpoon. Nice. It's always a good find. Certainly need to be gathering this stuff yet, but oh, never mind. Apparently, one of our research plants is that one. So I guess we should get that. It didn't used to pop up like that, did it? Or did I just not pay attention? Maybe it did. I'm wondering if that was a 1.0 change to have that little notifications show up when you're completing your research. I don't know what a gar is. Yeah, I'd have to Google it. Gun enhancement. Sure. Now I'm curious enough. Hold on. Agar. Agar. A gelatinous substance obtained from various kinds of red seaweed. Agar. 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 Huh. The image for it is very strange. The very first Wikipedia picture. That shit is unappetizing. I want to feel it. I want to poke it. I want to poke it and watch it jiggle. But I don't want to eat it. It's in a lot of products, really. It's in a lot of health food.
sounds like boba. That makes sense. We need one more of those as well. Nighty night. There we go. Oh, apparently I have to get lionfish too. Nice. thing. I can't remember if it's just like a random chance for it to put him to sleep or if you just have to hit him enough with it. Either way, that's pretty good. Have you grabbed one of the hump heads yet? I don't think so. The Trevally? No, that's not the Trevally, right? That's one of the... I can't remember what this guy is. Uh, big boy. Ooh, shark, speaking of which. I feel like I might have to shoot this guy, too. Whoops. Oh, my God. People are saying, or at least I think people were saying earlier, that if you weaken the bigger things, then you have a higher chance of putting him to sleep. What? No way! Oh, dude. Wish I could have taken advantage of that. Oh, well. Just a random chance. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Nice. Ah, oh, darn it. All right. Greater space. What you got? Nah, I'm good. Oh, Jesus. I didn't even see you guys. There's that one. Nice. Get, get away. Stop it. Go to sleep. There we are. Just too fat to pick up. Yep. Just too hefty. Not enough space. I think I can do this here, actually. No? Alright. Fair enough. I think the dart might work on them, though. Let's get one more lion fish. Probably one more trigger fish, too. Come on, buddy. There you go. Good eats today. Where'd the lion fish go? There it is. Yeah, it does look like it's just random. Plenty of space. Getting a lot done with this dive. Come on, hot start. Nice. Level two even. All right. I think I can do this guy full at least. Pretty sure he'll fit. Oh, there's our first part. Nice. There we go. Okay. Now we should probably go get the components. We got just enough. Level two. Barracuda. You ever had those candy fruit slices? I've had too many of those candy fruit slices. Those used to be like a go-to for me. If you put a full 
container of those in front of me right now, I would probably absentmindedly eat the entire thing before the end of the stream. Oh, this gets sealed off here, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to go around. Jeez, those fucking jelly beans of any kind. So many gummy candies, dude. Like the peach rings. Hell, I'll eat dots. Gummies are where it's at for me, man. I got a gummies problem. I've been eating my weight in Starburst and Skittles lately, too. Dude, peach rings might be, like, one of the best candies ever. Peach rings are amazing. I still give it to Jelly Bellies. Overall. I think. It's my favorite favorite. But I would be pretty pleased with a pouch of peach rings at any point. Apple rings too, dude. Yeah, that, that prioritize the peach. Apple ain't bad though. Jelly fruit slices in particular are made from agar. Really? Huh. That's a fun fact. We got some apple rings in your kitchen right now. I, I can't even. Any of the above that I've listed, like the fact that the Starburst are in my house right now. I... No, they're not in this house, actually. Yeah, thank goodness. Otherwise, they would probably be gone by the end of the day, too. Any candy like that in my area has very little chance of surviving the day. Hey, Ugg. Welcome. They do have, yeah, they've got the little cola bottle gummies here. The Haribos. Yeah, those are good, too. I should get out of here. I don't have any more O2. I think I'm going to need to do another dive for the uh, third part. Sherbet saucers slapped when I was a kid. Sherbet saucers. That sounds good. There was a traveling art exhibit I went to a few years ago where everything was made of candy. There was a dragon made of peach rings. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I've got such a candy problem that my only takeaway from that is what a waste of peach rings. <laughs> you ain't eating that shit. I'm sure it looked cool, but... I'm gonna eat that dragon. Did it do? It was a sugar paper flying saucer filled with sherbet powder. Oh my god. Tangy, sharp, and sweet all at once. That sounds good. How are those Skittles gummies? Yeah, I haven't actually tried those yet. I've been keen to. Mm. Do be good. Mm hmm. You can get a giant gummy pickle at Omega Mart. That's the um, that's the Vegas place, right in Area 15. That makes sense. There's an applicant for the Bancho Sushi hiring notice. Time to have a look see. Try the Wildberry noted. That is my favorite oh, Skittle yeah. flavor too. I wasn't expecting an applicant so quickly. Let's check out who we have. We're hiring. This is a pretty nice resume we have here. Let's hire this person right away. They're willing to work for free, so yeah, they seem worthwhile. Hello, Kyoko. Come on in. New run -out, yeah. Started fresh here. All right, looks like we have our first staff. Hired staff must be placed. 
Oh. Staff can be placed in the kitchen or the dining area. Oh. Add them to your kitchen to cook more quickly and to your dining area to serve more quickly. Oh. As for our first staff, let's try a dining area assignment for now. Oh. I think that should be enough to go on. Oh. I'm stating the obvious, but... Things will get tough without staff to help once more customers start coming in. There's also training to consider besides hiring. That's all for now. Sweet. My goodness. That is a hell of an upgrade for Kyoko. Let's do it. Massive stat boost. And then her next unlock lets her serve the drinks. That'll be worth it. Check our research. Can get the boiled yellowback fusilier. Yes, please. Hell yeah. Salt grilled red tooth trigger fish. Hit it. Agar Tokorotin. And Season Kajime. Nice. The photos are now in the food section of the Discord. All the candy art. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. Quick pivot. Wow. God damn, you weren't kidding. I gotta show off the main exhibit at least. The one that I vocalized. That looks dope. Peach ring dragon, everybody. Yeah, dude. You you undersold that. Holy shit. That's a fucking peach ring dragon. What's the other stuff? That is incredibly impressive, man. Wow. There's several very good. Jesus, they're all amazing. The Willy Wonka? Huh? Lovingly crafted from 7,900 candies. 108 hours. Look at the beans, dude. Oh my god. That's amazing. This is this is real cool. <laughs> That's fantastic, dude. I'm showing in Dallas. This is a really neat exhibit. Yeah, I dig that. Exclamation point Discord if you want to peep the rest of those. Join us in the Bear Pile Discord. It's a good time. Let's get our menu sorted. Upgrade the lionfish. Yes, please. About damn time. Let's upgrade that one more time. And then serve it. Can upgrade the trigger fish again. Probably a fifth time? Nah, it's probably not necessary. Let's go ahead and serve all those guys. Upgrade the giant trevally. Let's see, let's see. Upgrade the grouper. No, just serve it. There we go. And level three frogfish. Hit it. Now that's a painting eyed munch. That is. Oh, is that the name of the artist? I'm assuming so. Due to the capitalization, I'm gonna I'm just gonna give you full points without further explanation. Edward Munch. Okay, yes, very good. Well played, well played.
Also, bear dance. Come on now. That's how you do it, Dave. That's how you pour that green tea, my friend. Right there. Right there is perfect. Beautiful. Oh, man. The service help is already more than welcome. Thank you very much. Let me grab this one. I'll help you out. I feel like you're doing all the work here. Let Dave do some sprinting. Hey, Caitlin. Yeah. I'm keeping an eye on Dave's progress, of course. Very excited for the 1.0 here. We're going to need some cooking help soon, uh, very clearly. We need to hire somebody to help out in the kitchen. I'm falling behind on that. Let her grab that one. Oh, shit. Oh, God. The green tea service. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh. I don't know. I'm cutting it close here. They're willing to be pretty patient with us, apparently, though. I appreciate that. I appreciate that about y'all. Patience is the virtue you understand well. And damn. Making a killing today, dude. Nice. Almost silver on cook stuff. And a whole bunch of money again. Not quite as much, but that's to be expected with a lack of shark on sale. Pretty damn good still, dude. Definitely need to hire another person in the kitchen. That much is obvious now. They had some Lord of the Rings and Fantasy stuff. A sarcophagus. Oh, my God. That's incredible. I forgot to tell you something. What is it, Miss Yoshi? When you hire more employees and purchase more ingredients, you'll have to take care of many things all at once. So I decided to give you a management app which works on your smartphone. You can check the current situation of Bancho at any time using it. You can check the status of your restaurant without visiting it. That sounds handy. I already linked the app. Why don't you check it on your smartphone? I'm sure Bancho Sushi will go grow bigger and prosper. That's new, isn't it? I don't think this was on here before. You can check Bancho using the management app on your phone. Yeah, I think we always had to go back to the restaurant before. Cool. Yeah, this this definitely seems new. Well, I like that. All right, great. Can we do a hiring ad from here then? Because that would be nice. It doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. Well, if I want to put out another ad, I'm going to have to go back to the restaurant still then, right? Hmm. Oh, well. Dave should be concerned about how many people are just putting stuff on his phone. He's very trusting. Certainly a lot more than I would be. All right. Another flyer ad. Sounds good. Hopefully find a new person tomorrow. Kind of curious... I think it might even be worth it right now to just go ahead and upgrade her. Yeah, let's just have her get drink serving unlocked. Improves her serving and appeal. Always want to be appealing, I guess. I did also pass by the cat without petting it last time. I'm very sorry for that. Near inexcusable offense. Time to get the computer chip, I guess. Let's do it. Well, I just realized you can't even pet the cat is the thing. It just lets you talk to it. It just meows at you. Some sort of state to release the game in. 1.0, you can't even pet the cat? Come on now. Ridiculous. <laughs> start. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try to get a few of the uh, 
fish we haven't got yet, I think. Let's see about all the eco watcher options. Which I guess I could just check that on the phone real quick. Now that I'm going this way, I can't help but want to go deeper, though. We do also still need to go get that last component. I think we can dive, like, 120 meters now, which, if I remember right, there's a point at which you need, like, a different... Oh, nice, we got a research fossil. There's a point at which you need to have, like, a specific kind of upgrade for the suit beyond just, like, the depth upgrade. I think it's, like, a different section of the water or something, but... I think it'll still be a little while before we encounter that. Ooh, I think I might want to get that shark. I should probably get a better gun first. How's Dave doing so far? So good. I did murder him twice so far today, unfortunately, but he seems to have recovered nicely from that. Good to know he's murder-proof. Sweet. I'm sure this is in great shape down here. When I place an order from uh, Intel, I always make sure to ask them to uh, place my package at the bottom of a large body of water for an extended period of time prior to delivering it to me. It wasn't a box, yeah, no, at least it's been well-kept. Well-preserved. I got a single piece of kelp, apparently. There we go. Actual gun. Although, hold on a second here. That's part of FedEx's standard service, yeah. You have to check a box on their website to make sure that they don't do that if you if you don't want them to. Big boy. Oh shit. He's your big fella. Watch out! He is very tanky. Get him poisoned real fast. Honestly, not sure if I can even harvest him at all, but we'll find out. We will find out. Heavy though. Big old shark me. There's an escape pod right here, too. I'm sorry, shark on still. It, it felt necessary. Maybe it wasn't really. I think when you see the the profitability that results from that murder, you may feel a little differently about it. Well, if the, if, the, if the senseless slaughter of that beautiful creature got you a little extra cash bear, I guess I can allow it. All in the name of capitalism, right, buddy? Okay. If the food is good. Okay, you've got slightly higher standards, at least. Oh. All right, we should be able to deploy a drone with this. Oh. Ah, oh, you look pretty exhausted. Ha ha ha. Well, the sea currents did knock me around a bit. Oh. I see. Oh. It'll take a bit of time to repair the drone and deploy it. Please wait a while. Oh. Should be done by tomorrow morning. 
Go about your business until then. Whole bunch of cash. Nice. Delicious shark meat. Okay. Take a peek. You want to craft a hush dart if I can. Yes, please. I enjoyed the update. So far, so good. So far, mostly just the Dave I know and love, but nothing wrong with that at all. I think I'm going to hang on to the money for now. Just for the moment. I love this guy. And then where was the other one? Eco Watcher. Here we go. Deliver. Deliver. Nice. We need to find an animal foot bone. Also need to remove jellyfish, triggerfish, and more lionfish. Can do. Let's do it. That guy reminds me of my brother in both good and bad ways. That guy's got good and bad things about him, for sure. I like to believe that the good outweigh the bad. I'm kind of holding off until they add an accessibility option for mashing. Game's fun, but I don't want to mash for several hours of gameplay. There is a lot of that. Now that you mentioned that, yeah, it didn't even really occur to me. There's quite a bit of mashing going on. Hopefully they're aware of the issue. Oh yeah, I start with the hush dart now. Nighty night. Sleepy time? There you go. I'm sure storing it in its puffed up state is perfectly safe. foreseeable problems there. Right, I tried putting this guy to sleep already. That didn't work. It's always nice to find. Oh, I'm glad at least then there's discussion about it, clearly. Already. That's good. You have a macro built into your mouse for left-click mashing? There you go. Find your own solution. That reminds me of the, uh... The old Sega Genesis controller I had. It was this big fucking thing. It was probably like twice the size, if not more so, of a standard Sega Genesis controller. It was like an arcade stick or like a fighting what do you even call those like the when the people that play the fighting games like they bring their the, the full big like top of the arcade cabinet along with them kind of looked like a mini version of one of those but it had these little knobs up on the top as well that you could twist in order to adjust the quote-unquote turbo on each button so, like, in a game like Sonic the Hedgehog, for example, where you had to repeatedly mash the A button while you were holding down in order to generate, like, that spin dash. If we turn up the turbo dial on the A button instead, you just push the button, and all of a sudden, Sonic's going... It was pretty dope. I felt like a cheater, though, as a kid supposed to have this power. Fight sticks, yeah, it's simple enough to work, I guess, isn't it? 
Nighty night. Nom 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 nom. I'll get you your tasty Dave. We don't have a primary objective this time, do we? No, we don't. Well, that's a delightful sense of freedom. Feel free to move about the ocean, Dave. Best of luck, Exide. Did mention some specific fish I needed to catch. That is true. Eco Finder, we were looking to decrease the population of invasive species. Work on that. Speaking of mashing. Oh yeah, big boy's back. I don't really have a gun for him this time though. Look at these things. I don't think I've gotten any of those yet. I did mention I kinda wanna try to get a greater variety as well. Apparently I have gotten those. I'm sure all these stray Components are worth snagging as well. I got ammo and O2 up there if I need it. Sure. I think starfish might have been one. Apparently not. Let's go refill the uh, ammo after this. Might as well snag this O2 as well. Especially with its second one right by it. Filling up the inventory yet again. We got plenty of O2 over here, though. I feel like I could explore a little further. Orange starfish. That's the one I need. Hey there, Britzy. There's a lot of O2 down here. My god. Could get real greedy. kill the shark, but I don't really have the space for that anymore, I guess. But I should pick that up for Duff. The Red Angel of War penetrates targets marked with its laser sight. Yeah, brand new uh, file here, Keto. For 1.0. What do you do with the seashells? Those are primarily, I believe, for the Eco Finder app. For Annie, the research lady she'll usually be the one that you... There it is, yeah. It's too dark down here. It'll be dangerous to venture down in this state. I was gonna say, yeah, we need a... Oh, we need the light. That's right. Yeah, we need the... the suit light to go down there. Yeah, chat recommended I do it this way, Kido. I think I'm glad I did. It's been nice to be reintroduced to things at a good pace as well. Let's refill here. I might be able to get another Barracuda, and then there's the escape pod right here. Let's go for it. Take a gamble. This could be a very profitable day. Oh, we even have the uh, O2 in the back pocket still. Let's get these guys as well. Just in case. Owie. Oh, a shark shit. Okay, now we're definitely filled up. Time to go. Oh no! Oh! Go, Dave! Go, Dave! Swim, Dave! Oh my god! Uh oh. Gotta beat him into hitting me in some way. Okay, there we go. Nice. You got it, buddy. Get the heck out of here. Go, 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 go. Before he munches you. Hurry, hurry, Dave. Oh, goodness. Clutch. 
There you go, buddy. I failed a lot of dives because of that saw shark. <laughs> yeah. Sniper rifle acquired. Nice. Great dive. Lots of good stuff there. Ooh, the starry puffer apparently is worth a lot of money. Wow. I gotta get more of those guys. Dark gun's where it's at for that. Cool. Let's head back. Should be a big night. I don't think we'll have a second hire available yet. Yeah, we're still waiting for the for the ad to work. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Tiger shark meat. Let's enhance that sucker immediately. Lots of barracuda. That's pretty good. Let's see. Dusky grouper. Not bad. Serve it. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, we could do agar tokor tokorodin tokorodin. I think. You can only serve one. It is 50. I should sort my price. That's a good idea. Coral trout. Not bad. Let me get that on the, on the menu today. And then three level three lionfish. These things are pricey, dude. Let's serve one very fancy dish. Sounds good. Hit it! This will almost certainly get us to a uh, silver ranking on Cooksta as well. Oh yeah, you can do that now. Hell yeah. That would be a big help. I'm assuming she probably always gets either the good or perfect rating there as well. Might as well leave it for her to do. Ooh, here, I can clean up. You cover service, I'll go and clean up the mess. I'm good at that. Hey, Nakika, yeah. Back to the Dave and loving it. And it's already getting pretty hectic. This is why we need that help. You got it, you got it. Go, 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 go. I'll get this one, you get the next one. And then we got a system going. Very nice, very nice. Somehow staying on top of it, despite the, uh, their patience wearing thin. Go, Dave, go, Dave, go! All right. Sobby back. Very nice. Oh my good. Or oh my goodness, rather. You can see we are already rolling in it. That was a very profitable day. Outstanding. Oh yeah! 550. God damn. That's good. That's good. Bear is good. Expecting a cutscene for some reason. Hello. Good morning. Sorry, I couldn't come by yesterday because of the symposium. Did you speak with Cobra? <laughs> well, come to think of it, I got materials since Cobra said he was repairing a drone yesterday. Oh, a bit late, aren't I? Ha ha ha! I repaired the drone just fine thanks to you. I got some supplies as well. Here's the bombs you asked for. Also. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Dr. Bacon, will these do? All right, let's head back to that rock pile. Oh, wait! I haven't finished! Starting today, the Cobra Shop is officially open! 
Huh? What is that? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Deliveries have stopped, but with the drone in working order, I can transport three types of items in a day. Talk to me and select the Cobra shop to see a list that changes every day. I'll also buy some stuff you don't need. I have a feeling you'll charge high prices, but it's nice to be able to prepare. I won't charge high prices just because I've got the only business here, so don't be afraid to visit often. I feel like you let your business tactics slip just now. In any case, it's time to head back to the rock pile where the signal from the sea people was detected. Hell yeah, it is. You can buy auxiliary items and sell your items at the Cobra Shop. The Cobra Shop is only accessible in the morning and afternoon. Purchased items can only be used for one day, so keep that in mind. Ah, just in case there is something worth documenting inside. How about taking this underwater camera with you? A camera? That's right! It'll be important for research to record important data with photos. Take the camera and I'll let you know when I find the right place to use it. Alright, well first of all, I feel the need to immediately sell my gold bar for $500. Yes, please. Yeah, I found this, by the way. I feel like you might be interested. Also, the pearl. Probably worth a lot of money. I'm rich. OMG, I'm rich. That feels good. That's a good state to uh, wrap up the day on, I think. This feels pretty great. I'm very much enjoying our return to Dave the Diver in 1.0 and I hope you guys have been enjoying it as well if you're watching over on YouTube I would very much appreciate you leaving a like on the video that does help me quite a bit and thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one